morning you guys it is bright and early literally 9 a.m on this fine sunday morning emma's alarm kept going off and asking the that it was still four in the morning we had a we okay we both had a dream that we were crying throughout the whole dream and that we were fighting but we were sleeping next to each other so like we should have just opened our eyes and threw hands honestly like what no but you guys um we're going to get our nails done right now and i am Tired. So tired. Those black oak curtains do not help no, in my room anymore. They're dangerous. Like my old curtains that I didn't have, you just would wake up. And I'd be like time. prepared to wake up. The nail salon that we're going to today is like downtown and I don't know how to drive through downtown. I avoid downtown at all costs. Like I've never driven through downtown of Boston. This is like when you were doing my makeup and told me you don't know how to do makeup. So like just pretend like you know what you're doing. I mean like you know what I mean? I love the hands. You were just using what? No, but like actually like where am I gonna park? I'm crying. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever witnessed in my whole entire life. Is this downtown? Yes! This is the busiest part of Boston. I've yet to see another car. Stop! It's so busy, Ella. As <laughs> in the podcast and Maggie and I mentioned Times Square of Boston. This is what we meant by Times Square in Boston. Boston Ballet is there? Wait, I like don't I don't venture down here ever. But it's literally Times Square. This is so cute. Look at the ivy. So cute. Love Beacon Hill. It's so, 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 so pretty. pretty. <laughs> Slay! Yeah. We got chrome light pink. I literally have sausage fingers. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite avocado toast in the city. It's so, so, so good. And I got scrambled eggs on top today. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of this everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. I'm going to do a little bit of a get ready with me. This is just like a little daytime look to kind of transfer from looking like I'm half asleep to a little bit more of a daytime glow but I'm gonna start out with where are my bronzing drops here they are I'm gonna start out with this the anti-pollution bronzing drops sunshine drops from drunk elephant I'm mixing some of the bronzing drops with my moisturizer. Ella, do you find that when you kiss someone, the bronzing drops come off? Are you putting foundation on or just like concealer? Okay, that's smart. I'm gonna copy Ella and I'm gonna do a little bit of foundation. <laughs> I'm just using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I have this little pimple that's like red in the middle of my forehead. And it's really annoying. What? It's just the lighting in there. This is a really good foundation. It's very, it gives you like a healthy glow, which is nice. And what we're kind of going for right now is just looking like a healthy daytime-ish. And 
then a little bit of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer under my eyes. I'm gonna do some of the Save Beauty Sun Melt to add some bronze to my face and kind of like warm it up a little bit more, but not that much. Like I'm only doing a light amount because I don't want to do like a full beat. But just enough to warm up. Okay, I'm gonna add some freckles using the freck pen little thing. And then for color, I'm gonna add some Bennington to my cheeks and my lips. Okay. Setting my eyebrows. Aww. Look at us go. I'm about to order our Uber soon. Curl my eyelashes. I like to do two mascaras. I do the roller lash by Benefit and I focus out on my outer lashes. And then I go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic to elongate them. Yeah, then I'm gonna set a little bit. I'm using just like a little brush and some setting powder.
just a quick and easy little daytime look if you guys can even see me sure